Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God on this blessed Sunday. I give God the praise. I give God the worship and I give God the honor. Um, I love him and I appreciate uh, God on this morning. I thank God for sending his son Jesus to uh, give us an opportunity of salvation and to be delivered from sin and destruction. Welcome to the Deliverance and Restoration channel. Um, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope all of you are in the will of God, seeking the things of God and being serious about the things that the Lord has called you to do. I thank God for, for those of you taking the time out of your day to drop by my channel. And my prayer is that something would always be said or mentioned that would make a impact in your life. I thank God for all of you. Who support this channel I thank God for the genuine fellowship that I have with so many of you and even those of you who I haven't had the opportunity to fellowship with I thank God for each and every individual who drops by this channel those who I know and those who I do not I genuinely thank God for all of you um, as always it is always a blessing to be used by God to uh, speak Biblical truth and deliverance and salvation opportunity into the lives of others being led of the, of the Lord's Spirit. I thank God for it, um, for calling me. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be called by the Almighty God, our, our Father, our Creator. And I thank God for His presence on this morning. I thank God for those of you who are on the battlefield of the Lord. It is a grind. We must press forward and continue to sound the alarm. Those of us who are speaking biblical truth without compromise, we must continue each day as the Lord leads to sound the alarm that people uh, would have an opportunity to uh, accept salvation through the witness that the Lord has placed into our lives. Wherever God has placed you, whether you're preaching on social media, you're uh, preaching in the street, passing out Bible tracts, prison ministry, helping the poor and those in need. Uh, whether God is using you on your job, in your family, in your household, your neighborhood, wherever God has placed you. Continue to do the work of the Lord. Amen. In hopes that those that are lost in sin will truly be delivered and set free by the power of God through His Son, Jesus. There is a urgent word from the Lord this morning. And I'm going to transmit this into your life as always. If this word is not for you, I pray that you would pray for those this word is for. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, I want to talk to you today about hell is real. I want to talk to you about that. Hell is real. Eternal torment in hell is real people and it was a place that was created for the fallen angels due to their rebellion against God and those people who do not have a relationship with God torment in hell forever forever will be their resting place I feel God this morning. And to those of you who are in the will of God, you factually have a relationship with God. This word, you know, is not for you. And I ask that you would pray for those who this word is for. Because there are some people who are in, you love God. You are in position and alignment with God. And you allow God to deal with you. Uh, you allow God to, 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 you accept the chastisement of God and you have a hunger for the things of God and a hunger to draw closer to God and to stay away from sin as much as possible. Pray for those who are lost in sin, people. There are people who are lost in sin and there are people who are religious and they are lost in rebellion against God. 
And let me say this because God does not send people to hell. We send ourselves. People, they send their own selves there because they refused to accept the love of God because unrighteousness and wickedness cannot dwell in the presence of God. People who turn a deaf ear to holiness and salvation, you send your own self there by your own doing, by your own free will. For those who do not have a relationship with God and those who continue to turn a deaf ear Eternity in hell will be their resting place. The Bible talks about it. Adulterers and fornicators would not enter into the kingdom of God. Sin in general would not be able to enter in. The warnings of the Lord continue to come over and over and over again. And though this is why the enemy wants lukewarm, fake teachers amongst us to keep the people numb in sin. For this very reason, this is why each morning I get up and as the Lord leads, I warn the people. And I let God use this channel to speak biblical truth because I'm thinking about that person that's lost in sin. And my prayer is that something will be said or mentioned on these channels or wherever God is using those to speak biblical truth. That something will be said that would lead someone to Christ. That, that pushes me, the thought of knowing that someone who is lost in sin is going to burn in hell forever. That builds spiritual urgency to warn as many people as I can. And again, shame on every single preacher, pastor, prophet, teacher. Shame on all of you who refuse to warn the people to repent of sin shame on you for refusing to deal with sin and the Lord is going to deal with many of you false teachers false preachers false pastors God is going to deal with so many of you because you many of you God called you Many of you have a calling over your, your life and you refuse to preach the true gospel to these people. Yes, we are to encourage. Yes, we are to, to, to exhort. But we are also called to deal with sin and repentance in hopes that someone would turn from sin and accept God's love through salvation. Hell is real. And people send their own selves there out of their own free will. To anyone that is knowingly living in sin, I encourage you to repent. Yes, God loves us. And we've heard it time and time again. God loves us so much, but he hates sin. To anyone that is living in sin, going to a Sunday pew isn't going to help you. If you don't have a relationship with God, Eternal torment in hell is your resting place. It doesn't matter how much money you give these religious systems. If you don't have a relationship with God, hell will be your resting place when you stand before God. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't have a relationship with God, hell is going to be your resting place. Doesn't matter how many degrees you have, how many nice cars you have. Doesn't matter how many people pat you on the back. Doesn't matter how many conferences you go to. Doesn't matter how many mega churches you pastor. All of that is irrelevant. If you don't have a relationship with God through his son Jesus and a desire for holiness, eternal hellfire will be your resting place. And the Bible speaks on it. And I will post scripture up under the description of this video. And I've been sensing in the spirit. Me and my wife had a very deep conversation last night. And being that her office is the prophetic 
and the Lord has called me to teach and preach and to prophesy all and a a uh, diversity um, of, of, of things that God uses me to do. Me and her are able to connect on a spiritual level and see and really feel the heart of God. And people continue to turn a deaf ear. There are so many people that continue to turn a deaf ear and they are really flirting. They are on, they are really flirting with eternal torment in hell because at any moment they could die anything could happen the rapture could happen at any moment and only God knows when that is why we must live each day and a life that's pleasing unto God and get serious about the things of God because there are too many people too many people that are playing with this and I keep sensing that in the spirit. Now there are some people who love God. You are in position with God. I ask that you would pray for those who are out of position. Being religious and being rebellious at the same time has no power. And there are so many preachers and prophets and teachers and pastors who will be rejected by God because they were religious but they didn't have a relationship with, with God. What does it profit to have a mega ministry and your soul is lost? What does it profit to have one billion subscribers and a booming channel and you don't have a relationship with God? It profits nothing. There are so many people who God has called you know, them to, to walk away from sin and they've turned a deaf ear because so many of them feel like nothing's going to happen. There are so many people who are in ungodly relationships and they refuse to walk away from it because they think nothing's going to happen. The Bible is true when it says, you know, the enemy has them blinded. Satan has people spiritually numb to keep them comfortable in sin. And then you have the once saved, always saved, false doctrine out there that the enemy is spreading everywhere to keep people with itching ears comfortable in sin long enough. Let me tell you people something. Let me give you a little bit of a background on, on the Satan and the fallen angels. See, the reason why Satan and his fallen angels are doomed to hell that they didn't get an opportunity to repent. And I'm going to tell you, you, you why. This is the revelation I got. Satan and the angels were created into holiness. They had, they had already had access to the presence of God from the beginning of their creation. And they rebelled. That they rebelled. And they was already in paradise. And they rebelled. And that is the reason why they don't get an opportunity to repent. Satan and these fallen angels are doomed to hell. Now us being mankind, we were born into sin with a sinful nature because of what Adam and Eve did in the garden. So God had mercy on us and he sent his son Jesus to give us an opportunity to be redeemed. We have an opportunity that Satan and the fallen, fallen angels did not get because they were born into God's glory and they rebelled. And Satan and the fallen angels, they want to take as many people to hell with them as they can. People, hell is real. And let me deal with this deception. It grieves my spirit when I see people trying to size up hell and see if it's worth it. I have read comments of people saying that you don't burn forever. There's people telling people that you get thrown into hell and your, and your whole body and spirit is destroyed. People that is deception from the enemy, the Bible clearly states that torment and gnashing of teeth for eternity. 
you do not just go to hell and burn up for 10 seconds and that's it and you're no more uh -uh. people hell is real do we worship God only because we want to escape hell no I give God praise because I love him and I think and I thank God for who he is my pursuit of God is not just based upon me wanting to miss hell when you love God you don't think about hell your focus is the things of God people who love God hell isn't even hell hell is not their reality but I give God praise for who he is and his love and in terms of hell I don't want to see people go there but there are, there's there's a lot of people and let me deal with this there are too many people turning a deaf ear and there's a lot of people that will stand before God in judgment and the Lord Lord would tell many of them do you remember that YouTube channel that you turned a deaf ear to and I sense this there's a lot of people God would tell them do you remember that that YouTube channel that you kind of skipped over, that you turned the deaf ear to because they were dealing with conviction. And the Lord is going to tell them, well, I, I was speaking through that man or that woman, but you turned the deaf ear because you got offended. There's a lot of people that turn a deaf ear and God is speaking on these social media platforms. God is speaking through people that will minister the true gospel and people, some people, um, want spiritual growth and some don't and it grieves my spirit because hell is their resting place if they do not repent and the God would tell many of them depart from me I never knew you people the warnings of the Lord continue to come and there would be people that would say well that's a small channel I think I'll go over here to a channel with more subscribers and to where a feel-good gospel is being preached people the warnings of the Lord is coming and so many people continue to turn a deaf ear. There's people that God is calling to repent from sexual immorality, fornication, adultery, masturbation, sex toys, pornography, lust. Same gender sexual immorality. God is calling for them to repent. But now the enemy has deceived people into being religious and rebellious at the same time. People being obsessed with going to a religious building isn't going to help you. Satan and these evil spirits do not care about you going to a religious building as long as your personal life does not change for the glory of God. You can go to that building every Sunday. As long as you, your character does not change. As long as you don't surrender to God, the enemy does not care about you going on that pew. As long as you leave out doing the same things. As long as you leave out engaging in sexual immorality. As long as you leave out still cussing and still lying and stealing and walking in hate and abuse and, and, and unforgiveness. As long as you keep being an ungodly husband. The enemy doesn't care about you going to a Sunday pew. As long as you continue to be an ungodly wife and an ungodly parent and continue to, 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 to flirt with these addictions and continue to, 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 to be a stripper, continue to go to strip clubs, continue to feed yourself evil music, evil TV programming. The enemy does not care about people going to a Sunday pew. And that is why God is raising up so many people like myself who have no agenda, I have no agenda. I choose through my free will and my hunger for God, I choose to deal with sin on this channel. The Bible says preach in season, out season, exhort, rebuke. I deal with every human emotion on this channel and I will address sin and will continue to address it because I love God and I love you enough. People, you cannot live in sin and expect to reign with God. Those who live in sin and who are religious and the Bible says that people, people give God praise and worship with their mouth, but their heart is far from them. That demonic religious spirit is going to take so many people to hell out of their own free will. I feel this quit turning a deaf ear to the Lord. Let me tell you something. 
these physical fleshly bodies is simply a cage when these fleshly bodies die of old age or whatever happens or whenever we are to leave this earth these fleshly bodies will be no more we will now transition into to the spirit these fleshly bodies are destroyed but we have a spirit that is inside these bodies people for anyone that feels like when they die that you become no more that is deception when you when the when these fleshly bodies are no more, you now transition into a spirit, spirit form. You still live in the spirit realm after you leave this natural realm due to uh, death or rapture. You will now transition into spirit form, people. We are living spirits inside of these physical fleshly bodies. But anyone that feels like when you die, you become no more and you cease to exist, that is deception. And for anyone that, that teaches that you can, and I've seen this, I've seen people teach this, and I've seen people size up hell to see if it's worth it. I've seen people say, well, that, that isn't too bad to burn up for a couple of minutes, and that's it. People, hell is for eternity. There are, listen people, there are several videos, revelations, and some of them are very accurate that God gave people revelations of what hell is. People, it is not a place for us. And that is why God sent his son Jesus to give us a chance to repent. People, the sinful illusions in this world is not worth going to hell for. God does not send us. We send ourselves because our refusal to accept Jesus. So many people that are stuck in religion, but they have no relationship. It's not, again, it's not going to profit you going to a religious system, going to every conference, every gospel concert, every revival. It's not going to help you if your life does not resemble God. Hell is real, people. And just imagine cutting on your stove and putting your hand on that stove for eternity. The pain that you feel. That never goes away. It is it is eternally. People, I want you to I want to I want you to take a moment and really think about that. Hell is the equivalent to putting your hand on a hot stove and not removing it for eternity. Is your sin really worth it? Hell is real. And the enemy had deceived so many people that God and and Jesus, that all of it is a fairy tale. The enemy has so many people blinded. God is real. Jesus is real. These demonic entities are real people. And it's time to get serious about it's time to get serious about the things of God. Many of you, God is warning over and over again. He's warned you in music. He's warned you on TV. He's warned you on social media. He's warned you in these ministries. God has warned. Many of you have received Bible tracts. You, you, God has warned you, and many of you are accountable. And there are so many people. You can dodge these uh, um, channels that deal with, with sin. You can dodge all you want to, but you're never going to be able to escape the accountability of God. That's why I thank God, each and every last one of you, wherever God has positioned you that deal that, that deals with, with, with salvation and repentance, I thank God for you. Because there's too much lukewarmness out there. We need to continue to sound the alarm of biblical truth. Some of you, God has told you to stop engaging on porn, but you keep going. God will give you the power to deny your flesh if you want to be changed. God told you to stay out porn. He told so many of you to stop engaging in sexual immorality. But you went right back to it over and over again out of your own free will. God has given you a chance to repent. Many of you, God told you to depart from, from masturbation, but you keep doing it. God has given you a chance to repent. The wrath of God is real. 
the wrath of God is real, people. And the Bible declares, therefore, the wrath of God is revealed from heaven to those who hold the truth in unrighteousness. There are people who know the truth, but they choose sin. The wrath of God is raised against you. If you live in sin, according to scripture, you are a child of Satan. Rather you want to admit, whether you want to admit it or not, God is calling for holiness. He loves all of us. And God is calling for change in your life. You cannot live in sin. And let me deal with this too. There's a lot of people that is obsessed with the rapture, but they don't have a relationship with God. Being obsessed with the rapture while living in sin doesn't profit anything. People, it's time to get serious about the things of God. It's not about having fun people because there's a lot of people that says that well we can't have fun listen god is trying to save your life for eternity life isn't always about fleshly fun it is about a relationship with god god is not trying to hurt you he's trying to save your soul and because many of you we all have a free will I encourage you, please turn from sin, whatever, whatever sin is in your life. Let it go. The evil pleasures and the illusions in this world, if many of you don't repent, it's going to send you right to hell out of your own free will. God sent his son Jesus to die for you. It's time to surrender. And it's time to stop being religious and get into a relationship with God. And even you preachers and you pastors and prophets. Because there are so many spiritual leaders that's living in sin. You've got pastors sleeping around with, 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 with the uh, people in the church. God is not pleased. you got same gender going on in the pulpit. Engaging in sexual immorality of same gender while still preaching, God is not pleased. You got preachers making merchandise of the gospel and have made billions off of the people through manipulation. God is not pleased, and you will give an account for that. Preaching the gospel while living in sin will lead to destruction. You got sexual immorality in the choir, sexual immorality in the pews, people. And I always talk about this because sexual immorality is the one big one that the enemy is going to, 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 to cause a lot of people to miss God. It is time to repent. It is time to get serious about God. Hell is real and you will burn in hell for eternity if you do not turn from sin and accept God's love. Accept God's love. Please quit turning a deaf ear. And don't be that person. Do not be that person that God will remind you of the witness that he tried to give you and you turn the deaf ear. Some there are so many people keep turning the deaf ear over and over and over again because the God of this world has you blinded that it's okay to live in sin. Jesus did not die for our sins for us for us to live in sin. The Bible says, Shall we abide in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. The Bible says, be ye holy for I am holy. Be ye holy in all manner of conversation. The Bible says, do not love this world nor the things in it. Those that love the things in this world, it's not of God. And woe, and the Bible talks about you pastors. Woe to you pastors who have scattered the people. 
Many of you are living your best life now and you will be rejected before God. You spiritual leaders, fake prophets, fake pastors, fake teachers, you will be rejected be before God because you are your refusal to warn the people. Many of you has prophesied blessings and the Lord told you to prophesy repentance. And it's the same thing. And I deal with that heavily on this channel. God is calling for spiritual accountability in, in, in the pulpit and quit tickling these people ears and saying what they want to hear. What profit you to gain all the wealth only to be rejected by God. God is calling for repentance. There are a lot, a lot, there are a lot of people who leave this life every day and they was not saved. And hell is their eternal place. Let me say this again. Hell is not just for one day. It is not just for five minutes and you're no more. That is deception. And for those of you who are on this YouTube platform, if you are preaching a lukewarm, watered down gospel to make these people feel good, God is going to deal with you. These spiritual channels, God did not call us to make these channels just to talk about foolishness and stuff that has no value. We are to minister the true gospel. We are not more. Listen, we are not motivational speakers. We are teachers and preachers of this gospel. There are too many demonic motivational speakers trying to hide behind the pulpit, preaching the wrong doctrine. We are not to just talk about marriage all the time. There are several channels like that, people. The whole ministry is talking about getting married, but there's no repentance or salvation rarely ever mentioned. People, the deception is real. If you have a Bible-based YouTube channel, you need to be allowing God to use you to deal with, with salvation, repentance, and conviction and deliverance and healing, not just one thing. People need to know the truth. Yes, marriage is of God. Yes, God ordained marriage is a beautiful thing. It is a blessing. But if all you're talking about is getting married and you call yourself a spiritual channel, you're operating in deception. Yes, we are to deal with marriages. We are to minister to marriages. Again, people, the blueprint of the Bible is to deal with all the areas. The Bible says, exhort, exalt, rebuke, in season, out of season. The Bible, the, the, the Bible is balanced. Now on this channel, I deal with everything, not just one thing. I deal with whatever the Lord speaks. That is true indication that God is with someone. Start looking at what they preach. And if you see a balanced gospel, you know, that the truth is coming forth on that channel. God has not called me to only talk about grace and mercy. That is deception. Any place of worship, any religious system, any YouTube channel that only talks about grace and God's love and faith and trust and does not deal with the issues, they are operating in deception and lukewarmness and the enemy is using them. It doesn't matter how nice they seem to be, the enemy is using them. Whoa. Woe unto the pastors and these spiritual leaders who are deceiving people right into separation from God, people. It's time to get serious about the things of God. It is time to repent of sin and it's time to really surrender to holiness and quit turning a deaf ear to the warnings of God. Because there are so many people, the wrath of God is upon them. And they are totally unaware. And that is why the enemy wants to keep so many people lost in sin. Long enough to where they can take them to hell with them. Hell is real. Hell is not just for one day. Hell is real. You can chance it if you want. But as for me in my house, we choose the Lord. 
That is the word of the Lord on this morning. And I pray and I declare that whoever comes across us that is living in sin, I declare that the love and the salvation of God will locate you in Jesus' name. And I declare that you will surrender to holiness. You will surrender to right excuse me, you will surrender to righteousness in Jesus' name. And I declare that the demonic chains of the enemy are to be broken off of your life on this morning. In Jesus' name. I declare now that every evil spirit that would have you being religious and rebellious at the same time is broken off your life in Jesus name. I declare now that you will have a hunger for biblical truth in Jesus name and I declare that you will stop turning a deaf ear to the true gospel of salvation and conviction and deliverance in Jesus name. As always, I hope and pray that something was said or mentioned that would make an impact in your life. Thank you so much for dropping by the Deliverance and Restoration channel. I will continue to put up spiritual content as the Lord leads. Until next time, be blessed and be safe. Goodbye.